Hi everybody, today I'm gonna design something I haven't done before. In Generation 9, Game Freak introduced new Pokemon that looked oddly familiar, so-called convergent Pokemon or regional fakes. Basically Pokemon that look undeniably like others but are completely different species. I got the idea to create some for the German book region while I was on the train and I made some really ugly concept sketches on my phone. First regional fake is one to resemble none other than coughing. While reading the Wikipedia page, I found out that it may be based on underwater mines. You know what else is incredibly dangerous and can be found underwater? Plastic bags. Here is my first concept sketch, a masterpiece I know. So yes, I'm gonna make a regional fake of coughing based on plastic bags. Here's the thing, coughing is a poison type, so my mind immediately jumped to something dangerous. And because of the water mine aspect of coughing, it had to be something related to water. The reason why plastic bags are so dangerous is that animals can get trapped in it or animals confuse it with food. They do look similar to jellyfish after all. That's also what you saw on my terrible phone sketch, a plastic bag jellyfish abomination. Some shopping bags have two handles, a long one and a short one, which lends itself pretty good to some tentacles. The end of the smaller ones are colored green to make it look a bit like plankton or seaweed. It waves around its little arms to attract the other fake one and catches its prey with the other pair of arms. This may seem pretty sinister, but so is its inspiration. By the way, I haven't finished Scarlet and Violet yet, so I don't know if regional fakes get explained more, so maybe I'm completely missing the point, sorry if that's the case. Uh, it is a pure water type, that's why I added some water textures in the end. The poison type would still be fitting, but I feel like giving it the original type would defeat the point. Or maybe it wouldn't. Please let me know, cause I do want to make more and that's some important information. Like where exactly do I draw the line between a regional fake and a regional variant. I don't know, that's kind of confusing to me. Anyways, uh, I'm really proud of the name, so I'm gonna explain it right now. Coughing's name is just the, well, the word coughing, but spelled differently. And it's a term related to not being able to breathe properly, so meat choking. Well, animals often eat plastic and choke on them. This is probably the darkest name I've ever come up with, but I mean, tell me it's not fitting. For now, it is a pure water type. The evolution isn't any less dark, I promise that. It is still based on shopping bags and jellyfish. The original wheezing has a second head attached to it and I kinda wanted to keep that aspect without just giving it another head that looks like it. So I turned its tentacles into a few different heads, more specifically imitations of weak fish Pokemon that would be considered prey like Magikarp and Barboge. So not only did I keep the multiple head aspect from wheezing but also made a regional fake that is imitating two more Pokemon. I think that's kinda cool, honestly. It's crossing its arms to reference the crossed bones on the original Weezing. This Fakemon uses its arms to lure larger Fakemon towards them. Then it grabs them and just swallows them as a whole with its gigantic mouth. For its shiny, by the way, I used the shinies of Magikarp and Barboge, which I felt like that would be pretty fitting and both of them had gold in it, so yeah. If you watched the map video of the project, you know that there is a location with a gigantic waste deposit and I needed a few more fake mon that would go along with this whole theme. I think there are gonna be a few more in the region. Yeah, I think so. The name again is pretty sad to be honest, it's called suffocating. <laughs> suffocating is a synonym for choking and I mixed in the term to suffer, making the name probably even more messed up than choking. Because of its sinister nature I gave it the dark type, it felt very appropriate even though it doesn't look nearly as dangerous as it is. But I'm not done yet cause we're actually gonna design two fake one lines in this video. The next one is a regional fake of Magikarp and yes it was a coincidence that both lines are connected to Magikarp. So this fake one is based on this mechanical toy shark I got for my dad a few years ago and it crossed my mind again. What if a tech company tried to make a toy version of a Pokemon that kids could have as a pet without them having to really care for them and without giving them literal murder monsters? By the way, please don't throw your fish into the sink, they are not toys, but this one is so it's fine. Basically all I did was create a cool looking robot magic cup with an elegant color scheme. 
Its mouth is shaped like a USB port, that's where we can charge it. On the fin is the logo of the company called Cybercorp. Not really... Oh my god, I can call it Cybercarp. Ah, <laughs> why did I think of this before? That's way more creative than Cybercorp. Uh, back to the script. The eye is a reference to camera lenses cause this robot needs them to scan its surroundings. Since this fake one is not alive, I didn't add highlights in the eyes, which makes characters always look they are dead or have lost their souls. That's often seen in animes or in general animation series. You've probably seen it already. This fake one can be encountered in the wild, however they are incredibly rare and actually limited. If you caught all of them, there won't be more. You may find one stuffed into a trash can or one swimming around in a river or lake. These are however most of the time damaged. People just threw them away because they were broken or they lost them. These fake ones are called Wonder Cup. Magikarp is a fusion of magic and carp and I figure the most obvious name for a company to use would be Wonder Carp. Seems like a pretty marketable name to me. However, they are no longer getting produced or sold due to unpredictable circumstances, which you will get to know in a second. Here it is, Wonder Carp, a pure steel type. These fake ones are unable to breed, so once the last Wonder Carp is caught, there won't be any wild ones left. I actually think it's a pretty sleek design, but what do you think? Would you buy one? So next up, the evolution, and the reason why you can't buy Wonder Carps in the German spoke region anymore. Like I said, Wonder Carps are not designed to evolve, but as you can see right now, they are able under cer certain circumstances. The German spoke region is divided into three areas. Each of them gets influenced by the presence of a legendary. One stands for shift and change, one for gridlock and one for fable and magic. In the fable area there tend to be more unexplained events and more mysteries due to the legendary. Turns out Wonder Cup who were brought into the fable area were turned into real life fake mon, once they were released into the water of the fable area. This usually led to people throwing away the Wonder Cup since they got scared. This or the previous neglection most Wonder Cups have experienced triggered their evolution into a more steampunk and edgy looking Yagarados. For the name I tried to make up a word from the first few letters of Garados, like the G-Y-A-R-F-I-A. I just mixed around the letters into a cool sounding term and then I looked up on the internet if it's actually a word in whatever language and it turns out that Yagara is a Japanese word, a Japanese fish that can be used for sushi. Coincidentally, the Yagara or cornet fish or in German flutefish has a similar body shape as Garados. However, the snout is way longer. For the colors, I went with something that resembles a lot of steampunk outfits. Black, a bit of grey and gold. I have to say, Garados is quite difficult to draw, especially the head or the mouth part, but I guess it worked out. Here it is, Yagarados, a steel and fairy type. Originally, it was supposed to be a steel and psychic type because, well, it got sentient. But I went with fairy cause I need more non-pink or cute fairy Pokemon. Like, don't get me wrong, I like pink and cute, but not every fairy Pokemon has to be pink and or cute. I can't believe I just said that. Whatever. And this is actually not the last fake one of this video, since Yagarados is a living fake one now, it can reproduce. While writing the script, I realized that since Wonder Cups are limited, Yagarados would also be kinda limited and eventually get extinct. So I decided to make another version of Wonder Cup. So if two Yagarados reproduce, their baby would be this regional variant of Wonder Cup. It is more aggressive looking and a bit longer than regular Wonder Cup. Looks a bit like a small torpedo to me. I tend to prefer Pokemon lines that actually look like they are connected, so I give it the same colors as Yagarados. I don't dislike Magikarp turning into Garados. I mean, it's the whole concept, but for this form I wanted the two stages to look related. Even though they can be found more often than the regular Wonder Cup, they are still pretty rare. Their main habitat is the Fable area, but on rare occasions they can also be seen in the Gridlock area. When brainstorming for this video I didn't intend to only make water creatures, but here we are. If this was a real game, there would be a side quest by the professor of the region where you have to research what exactly is going on with the whole Wonder Cup Yagarado situation. And here it is, Germansburg Wonder Cup. It is a lot stronger than regular Wonder Cup and already got the fairy type. It takes forever to evolve, but it is already very strong on its own. It attacks by ramming its opponent like a torpedo. So, these were all the regional fakes for today. I hope you liked them. Which one is your favorite? Please let me know. 
And if you have any ideas for more regional fakes, please let me know in the comments too. Thank you all for checking out my video. Please subscribe to not miss my future uploads. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. If you have opinions about these fake or any ideas, please let me know in the comments. Check out the fan art showcase and see you in the comments.